Hello, I've just eaten my fifth last bowl of rice and peas. Um, you may see that my nose is a little bit red, I don't know if you can see it. I've had a really heavy cold and uh, it's amazing. People immediately, as soon as I tell them I've got a cold, it's, oh, it's the rice, it's your diet. It's just a cold. Like People get colds. Um, but I will say it is really difficult, really difficult to have a cold and do this. I tell you, I've really have struggled in terms of eating my rice. Um, I lost a sense of smell and taste, um, which is fascinating because I ate my rice, but I just I, I felt like I was going to gag the whole way through it. It's bizarre. Um, but I couldn't even taste it, so kind of a blessing in disguise. But um, it got me thinking about people in this situation, like who have to fetch their water and they have to eat their whatever food they can get hold of, and they're not well. Like I never even think of it now. I just think of it when people are feeling well, and uh, it's just I tell you, it's such an effort. It really is. I've got to say, this is like. One of the hardest days I've had today and yesterday when I felt this really heavy cold um, to actually just keep going and to persevere and to live in these conditions must just be terrible because um, it's that constant battle, isn't it, when you've got a cold and you're needing energy to overcome the cold and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's been difficult. Um, and, uh, yeah, it just highlights, again, another situation, something we don't often think about, but people get unwell in these countries more often than we do. Um, especially with dirty water, and then they've still got to do it. It's just terrible. Um, so I've been doing this for 40, this is day 40 to 42, and, um, and when I finish on Sunday, this is my second last one, when I finish on Sunday, um, I will have walked 55 miles, believe it or not, to collect my water and to bring it back um, in total, which is quite a lot. So there's your fact, which is interesting. I might do it fact about something else um, to do with that at the end.